Hi everyone. In this, I am going to explain about Miller and Bootstrap time based generators and their basic principles. Here, I am just explaining the basic principles. In the next video, I will tell you completely about Miller sweep circuit and Bootstrap sweep circuits. So, let us see what could be the basic principle for the Miller and Bootstrap time based generators. We know in the time based generators, we should create a sweep circuit that should give very low slope error or we can say a linear output voltage. So in order to get the linearity of the time based waveforms that that linearity may be improved by involving the feedback. So linearity may be improved by involving a feedback. Okay. So, if you are having a resistance and capacitance in either series or parallel, suppose if you are having a combination of resistance and capacitance in series with a switch, with a switch across capacitor this circuit may not give may not give a linear slope because as long as the capacitor charges the current decreases that means the slope may not be constant throughout the sweep okay so in order to achieve perfect linear shape we should use some other amplifying circuits inside because the current is decreasing step by step. Initially, if you say, if you are having a particular circuit, initially if you say I is equal to V by R, after some time, it is maybe at T is equal to 0. After some time, at T is equal to some like uh, uh, 0 plus instant, after some time, the value of I current that is flowing through the capacitor is less than V by R is less than V by R which is the previous case. So, as the slope as the capacitor charges like this, we are expecting this is the output but actually what happens it is like this. The slope error may be deviated. The slope may be deviated so that some error will be there in between these two. This is the slope error. Hope you understand. So, in order to preserve the shape, a linear shape, we are using a Miller and Bootstrap time based generators. See, this is what I explain now. If you are having a resistance and capacitance like this, automatically the current decreases. Whatever the current flowing through this one uh, capacitor, the current decreases slowly, immediately uh, after some time. So, we are using some other technique where the current remains to be constant. Current remains to be constant. That is nothing but we need to incorporate some amplifier or a generator which is maintaining the current to be constant. So, it should be some generator or it may be amplifier too. Okay. So, this type of generator or amplifier should be incorporated to maintain a constant current. Here, the current decreases. In the first case, current decreases. In the second case, current is constant. Okay. So, if you are incorporating such type of generator or amplifier, then it will become either Miller circuit or bootstrap circuit. This is the basic principle behind the generation of or incorporation of this generator or an amplifier in the uh, sweep circuit. See here, we are not using BJT. BJT usage is different. We have not used BJT here. Using the same circuit, just we are in, uh, adding few more components so that it could be more efficient than the previous cases. Okay. Now, consider the same circuit, whatever we have used. There, now I am using a generating generator circuit. See, in this circuit, what I have done, I have considered the second circuit, let it be first circuit and this is second circuit. Okay. 
I am now considering the second circuit. In this second circuit, see the note, uh, nodes. Z is a node, Y is a node, and Z is a node. X is a node, Y is a node, and Z is a node. X, Y, Z. X to Y we have a capacitor. Y to Z we have a generator or some amplification voltage. Now what I am doing is I am connecting the Z terminal to the ground. Okay, then how what happens? A voltage source is there, resistance is there, and from X we are having a capacitor, and then we are having a voltage source to the ground because we are making Z to be grounded. This is the circuit. Okay, so from two, from two Z terminal or Z node is grounded z node is grounded okay so then this is the circuit that we can change now the same is just remodeled into this circuit see here z is grounded here and the same is replaced like this just we are having a break here and incorporating an amplifier where the amplifier is having minus infinite gain amplifier we are choosing it is having minus infinite gain some feedback is there okay and we are taking the open circuit between these two terminals x and y and the voltage across these two is something like vc and on the left hand side we are having the input circuit and on the out, uh, uh, right hand side we are having the output circuit that means the same circuit is divided into two parts by input and output so if you see properly this is the input side and this is the output side because we are adding some amplifier in between with a gain of minus infinite okay so this type of integration is nothing but miller circuit miller integrator circuit miller integrator circuit so Miller integrator circuit is nothing but the same circuit resistance and capacitance have been divided and now we are incorporating an amplifier in between these two and dividing the circuit as input circuit and output circuit. Okay, So that because of this uh, incorporation of amplifier what happens there is a flow of constant current through the capacitor so that the capacitor charges linearly. This is the main motto behind this. Now, using the same circuit, the circuit is again modeled. The circuit is again modeled as making the terminal Y is grounded. Making the Y is grounded. See here, now the same circuit. What I said, this is the Miller circuit. Now, in order to create some bootstrap, what we are doing, we are making the terminal Y is grounded. Okay, so how to make this Y to be grounded? See the circuit. See, now Y terminal is grounded and Z is connected at the input negative terminal. Z is connected at the input negative terminal. See, this is the same input circuit and this is grounded across the switch the switch is may or may not be there because of, uh, it is open circuited it may or may not be there and here it is the capacitor which is connected between x and y see the circuit here the capacitor is connected between x and y that is common and we are having a, a between x and z we are having an amplifier x and z we are having an amplifier here where the y z is grounded here but z is of course it is connected to Z is connected to negative part of this voltage. So Z is connected to Z is connected to here negative part of this voltage. And why it is grounded now? Okay, this circuit is nothing but bootstrap. This circuit is nothing but bootstrap sweep circuit. Bootstrap sweep circuit. Okay, the same circuit is modified so that the capacitor charges linearly 
But the difference between the previous circuit and this one is amplifier is having a gain of unity. Amplifier is having a gain of unity. But previously the amplifier gain was minus infinity where it was where it is not at all possible. But now the amplifier gain is unity which is most accepted format. Amplifier gain is unity. Okay, and we are taking the output from Z to ground. Nothing but output from Z to ground is nothing but output indirectly we are taking from a capacitor only. So, output is always a sweep circuit, sweep voltage. Okay, so this is what the bootstrap sweep circuit. In this way, Miller and bootstrap time-based generators can be active. Thank you.